Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Okay, today we are going to discuss our topic how to prepare acids. Okay, last we had discussed about all the types of acids as completed. Now we are going into the chapter, the main topic. Now, first of all, how to prepare acids? So, acids can, can be prepared by non-metal oxides like carbon dioxide oxygen like that only non-metal oxides when dissolved these non-metal oxides when dissolved in water it forms acids i will show one equation when carbon dioxide when co2 carbon dioxide dissolved in water when carbon dioxide dissolved in water it forms h2co3 So when carbon dioxide dissolved in water, it forms carbonic acid. Okay, this is how non-metal oxides dissolve in water to form acids. So I will write some more examples. When NO2 is dissolved in H2O, it forms HNO3. Okay, nitric acid. When SO3 is dissolved in water, it forms H2SO3. And when SO4 is dissolved in water, it forms sulfuric acid, H2SO4. These are some examples when the non metal oxide dissolved in water to form these acids ok now, now let us discuss about some more preparations of acids some more direct methods ok please note down these equations under non metal oxides dissolved in water to form acids these examples are, con are under these examples are come under the definition ok So acids can also prepared by direct methods. So direct method means when two gases or two one elements or compounds directly they react to form an acid. For example, hydrogen reacts with chlorine gas to form HCl. Okay. Now, so hydrogen when react with chlorine gas, it forms hydrochloric acid. This is direct method, not dissolving any water or any in any substances. And likewise, when hydrogen reacts with bromine gas, it also from hydrogen bromine. H2 plus Br2 it forms. When hydrogen reacts with bromine, it forms hydrobromic acid. For balance purpose, yeah. okay, these are some direct methods of reacting each other to form acids. When hydrogen reacts with chlorine gas, it forms hydrochloric acid, and when hydrogen reacts with bromine gas, it forms hydrobromic acid. Now let us see some more methods. So what we said, uh, so in that what we all said how to prepare acids, in that we are discussing about non-metal oxides right in the first one. So these non-metal oxides, all the non-metal oxides are, these are acidic oxides, they have acidic nature. All these non-metal oxides, they have acidic nature. For example, so take SO3 or SO4 or CO2. Okay, these are acidic in nature and these are non-metal oxides and these are acidic oxides and acidic in nature. Okay, these are two important points. All non and all metal oxides are acidic oxides and all non-metal oxides are acidic natures. Okay. 
all non metal ha oxides have acidic nature now now we will discuss some further more topics now we will discuss about some physical properties of acids first of all properties of acids in that physical properties of acids physical properties of acids so what are the physical properties of acids now we will discuss first one sour taste acids have sour taste okay second one acids are soluble in water most of the acids or all the acids are soluble in water all the acids are soluble in water so that's why when they are soluble in water they release a hydronium ions or h plus ions and that is why it is called acid soluble in water now acids have burning nature acids have burning nature this is very important point like this when we take any high concentrated acid so when that high concentrated acids single drop or some acid when touch our skin the skin will burst really big damage occurs to our skin our skin will be wounded even the bone in the skin also will come out so acid some some dangerous concentrated acids will be and they are acids have mainly burning nature acids have burning nature now so why we conclude that is acid and what is the main the color of acids and what we are using to conclude that that is an acid some indicators we can use which is a acid or which is a base some simple tricks that indicates for so example blue blue litmus paper red litmus paper we all learned it in 7th class acids bases okay now in that it will come these are some basics i can say but it will be useful in the main chapter now testing with litmus paper now we can say testing with litmus paper for example blue litmus paper red litmus paper phenethylene methyl orange like that indicators you can use and we will test so what is the testing and how to test we can say now first of all test with blue litmus paper now blue litmus paper so how can we test first of all take some amount of water in any some beaker take some amount of water and put one blue litmus paper so put some blue litmus paper in the acid so what happens then the the color changes in blue litmus paper now we can see when the color changes blue litmus paper into red color that is acid when this is an acid okay this is an acid first of all not water when this is an acid so when the blue litmus paper is kept it turns into red color then we conclude it as an acid okay take any substance not mainly acid don't take that acid just take any substance take any water and any acid that you are wish so conclude that is an acid blue litmus paper is kept that is red turns red color this is an acid mainly blue litmus paper in acidic medium turns into red color this is the st official statement blue litmus paper it is in acidic medium turns red color now red litmus paper red litmus paper okay blue litmus paper turns red color what is red litmus paper it turns blue color it is acidic no red litmus paper when kept in an acid 
if it is no, it changes into no color it remains only red color then you see it is an acid the red litmus paper in acidic medium has no color okay has no, no not changeless means no color in change only red color so when it turns into red into blue that is not an acid that is base okay now methyl orange so what about methyl orange indicator so we all discussed about methyl orange and uh, phenaphthalene in 7th class acid and bases so methyl orange when methyl orange in acidic medium are, has changed into red color like blue litmus paper methyl orange when kept in water or sorry acid it turns into red color then it's concluded as an acid now phenaphthalene now phenaphthalene indicator so what about phenaphthalene indicator phenaphthalene indicator in acidic medium colorless no color red green no blue or no color so that's when it is no color when changes into any color it is not an acid when it it will be no color colorless then only we conclude as it is an acid okay friends so i think you understood the class very well Okay, that's today's our video. Next, we'll discuss about chemical properties of acid. These are very important. This is our, this is the introduction part of our main chapter. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel. Don't and please like our video and share it to your family members and friends and relatives. Thank you. Thanks for watching and let's meet in our next video.